Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. 10 Observations on Gonzaga's Victory Over TCU Drew Tim is a legend. There can be no doubt of that now after another massive performance on the biggest stage. His 28 points, 8 rebounds and 3 assists led the Zags against a strong TCU team, and he was in big always on the spot moments. Certain post-game interviews only add to the legend. Tim made his presence felt first by scoring the first 6 points of the game for Gonzaga, but the rest of the offense took some time to catch up. They caught up early, settled for a lot of threes, and Colton T make them fall which isn't he a great recipe for a Zags team that doesn't he typically rely on deep ball. TCU, props to them, came out with more energy and intensity to the, the Zags, were a little lucky going into halftime just five behind, luckily for them the Horn Frogs slowed down on offense to finish the first and some guys whose name wasn't he Tim managed to put the ball in the basket, Malachi Smith was one of those guys. He ended up with a relatively calm 11 points, but each basket seemed to come at a convenient time for the Zags. It was a performance worthy of WCCS sixth man of the year. Rasser Bolton was keen to open the second half, and his pair of threes helped give the Zags momentum. It was great to see him come up as a second scorer in that game, by making those shots and getting to the free throw line a couple of times too. Luckily, the Zags were able to repeat their run in the second half, but that didn't he stop them from remaining interesting in the end. The defensive combination of Bolton, Smith, Hunter Salas and Anton Watson helped tremendously Gonzaga push in the second half. The Zags were far better at forcing turnovers and making TCU uncomfortable being on the floor with this group, and it was reassuring to see Mark View staying with this group for an extended run. A big part of that defensive span was keeping TCUS Mike Miles at bay. He went goalless for almost nine minutes in the second half, coinciding with the Zags' biggest run.